we go. We got three mythicals and 120 opens. Oh my gosh. I am now finally done. I never have to do a single Cape Canaveral Legend Stage ever again. I have all the evolutions items for the last JoJo units, Ermo. Look at that. I have every single one. I finally got all the black discs. Look at all the duplicates I got. I got eight of the purples, seven of the pinks, and this one wasn't as bad. But still, that is so many rounds I had to do. But we are finally done doing this. This is the last one. I'm glad I got it over with. But let's go into the evolution for Irmo, which is 25% more damage, sticker implosion, and 50% crit rate, which is pretty good. Another crit unit to add a collection. But there we go. Finally got it done. And I'm... I realized... I just realized he has more than... Oh, God. I just realized. I totally forgot this character had more than two arms. Okay, that that's... I thought that was a bug. It's funny. But look at... Oh, my God. Just perfect. A, a perfect 3,000 damage. Exactly. 6.9 cooldown. 17.4 range. And 50% crit. Which is excellent. That means every single level of damage... Technically, you can increase by, like, 1.5 times. So that's pretty good. So technically, if it crits, it's 4,500 damage on placement. That isn't too bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab all the units. And let's see how strong this unit is. Hopefully, it's pretty strong. Okay. Let's see. That's actually not that much range. This one has, this one has shorter starting range than most of the units. But let's go ahead and take a look at the attack. There we go. And let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that one. I, I've never seen this unit in game, actually. I'm not even kidding. That is some cool visuals. Okay. This is going to be interesting because, like I said a second ago, I've literally never actually seen this unit in a round. I, no one ever uses this one in my round. And I'm guessing that's kind of like what we're doing here. We're seeing why no one uses this unit, I guess. Really cool attack, though. I like that attack. They really do spend a long time on everything in this game, though, visual-wise. And there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and start upgrading the unit. And just keep in mind, yet again, that every single upgrade does have a 50% crit thing. And the crit damage is like 1.5 times damage. So 3,000 would be 4,500. So I'm guessing let's go in and start upgrading it. The first upgrade is 6.6 thousand damage, which would be 9.9 thousand with crit. 6.4 cooldown and 18.5 range. So not too bad. There we go. Then already a new attack, Sticker Barrage, 12,001 damage. No, our perfect numbers are ruined. Dang it. We got that one there, but 12,001, 6.4 cooldown, and 19.6 range. With crit, the damage is 18,001. But there we go, Sticker Barrage. Let's see what the new attack is. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool attack, not gonna lie. It does. It is a multi-hit too, which is really good because on multi-hit units with crit, that means there's a higher chance for crits to actually activate. So that's pretty good. But let's keep going. Next upgrade is 14,401 damage or 21.6 thousand with crit. 5.9 cooldown and then 20.7 range. So there we go. Next upgrade is 19,201 damage, which would be 28,801 with the uh, crit if it hits. 5.9 cooldown and 21.3 range, so there we go. Then 22.8 thousand damage and two. The crit damage will be 34,200, which is a pretty big increase. 5.9 cooldown and 21.8 range, so not too bad. And yet, it, and then there's no ability yet. We haven't got a new ability until like that one earlier. But next upgrade is 24,002 damage. Almost perfectly 24,000. The crit damage would be 36,003, which is pretty good. 5.4 cooldown and 22.9 range. 30,002 damage, which yet again would be 45,003 damage. 5.4 cooldown and 24 range. Then sticker implosion which is the exact same upgrade. Everything is the same, except you now have 2.2 more range. The AoE turns into a bigger circle AoE, and it looks like it's a singular hit. Let's see the attack. Yeah, that's a singular hit. So it's only going to hit one, so there's one chance for there to be a crit rate. It is 50%, though, so not too bad. But 30,000 damage. 
Not too bad. Okay, let's keep going. Next upgrade is 33,002, which would be 49.5 thousand damage with crit, 4.9 cooldown, and 27.3 range. And then that is the maximum stats. Okay, just going to put us out here. Off of the base stats, it's not that impressive. Let's see what the DPS is. 6.7 thousand DPS, so not too bad on there. And with crit, it's 10.1 thousand DPS, so not too bad. Let's see, does it hit airs? Okay, it does not hit air units. So it doesn't have that going forward. How many could we have? We can have five of them. Okay, so there we go. So that means the total DPS, if you have all of them maxed out, is 33.6 thousand. And if you actually crit, on, I'm guessing, let's say every single hit, it's 50.5 thousand DPS. So overall, the damage isn't too bad, but it doesn't seem to do anything special except for the crit. It doesn't hit airs. It doesn't like stun or anything. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm going to guess it doesn't because we already had two units this update that stud. But off of the basic stats, it isn't that bad. If it's your only unit from the update and you want to evolve something, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. You're definitely relying on it critting quite a bit for the damage to actually be good. Because like Poochie, for example, which only has three placements, has like 10,000 more total DPS. Additionally, it has the ability too, which is just stupidly powerful. Then you have Jotaro, which is about the same DPS. Mine does have a trait, so Irma might technically have more DPS. Whenever it's critting, whenever it's not critting, has way less DPS than Jotaro. And same thing with Jolene. Jolene does way more when it's not critting, but it has like 5,000 less DPS than when Irma is critting. And then I think it's all the units. So overall... I might have to say this is probably the worst unit in the update, but it still isn't that bad. If it wasn't so hard to evolve, like if it was a lot easier to evolve than the other Jojo units, it would be an excellent unit. But considering all, all the new Jojo units are the exact same evolution pattern, this one is definitely the worst out of all of them. And I'm actually kind of glad I saved this one for last because, oh my gosh, it's kind of disappointing. But I mean, let's see. With the 10% boost, the damage goes up to 36,000, which is 7,400 DPS. And if it manages the crit, it would be 11,000 DPS. So overall, not too bad of a unit. Much better than a lot of units, but it's definitely the worst JoJo unit. I feel like to make this unit somewhat usable, they need to make it where his air is, not gonna lie.